Welcome to the Advice Show, Media with the Common Sense Approach. So we have an update on the story that we put out yesterday about the South Carolina deputy that just slammed and dragged the teenage girl in the high school. Well, this man's background is starting to come out. And this man was involved in two federal lawsuits. One is still pending at this time. Now, I want you to hear from a brother that's involved in one of the lawsuits. We'll put that uh, paperwork up on the screen just so you won't think that we're not telling the truth on that. And I want you to hear the his encounter with Officer Fields. I'm going to roll the clip. I live maybe like four or five miles away from base. I get out my car. I walk to my door. Everything's normal. As I'm putting the keys in the door, I hear a car peel off. Naturally, my reaction was going to be I was going to turn around to see what was going on in the situation. As I turn around, Officer Ben Fields gets out of the car. I didn't know his name at the time. He gets out of the car and the officer is running towards me. Hey, you, hey, you, come here, come here. I'm like, who, me? He was like, yeah, you. I'm out here for a noise violation. And I was like, okay, well, it couldn't have been me. I just got home. He asked me for my license and registration. I handled my license and registration. The problem was, was when I was in Germany, I lost my picture ID. I was an Alaska resident, so Alaska sends you a paper license when you don't have your picture license. So I give him my paper license, my German license, and my registration. I even pointed out to the fact that on my tags, I still had German tags on my car because I was just moving to uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina, where I was stationed. Um, he got a little upset. I guess he didn't understand the paperwork that I gave him. He was like, well, what the hell is this? I was like, dude, if you just calm down, you can see that I have German tags on my car. And he interrupted me in the middle of the conversation. And he was like, you will not address me as dude. I'm a Richland County officer of the law. I was like, well, you address me by, hey, you. He was like, well, that's because I don't know your name. And I was like, well, sir, I don't know your name either. And next thing you know, wham, he slams me to the ground and starts beating on me, hitting on me, punching me. He takes out his can of mace. He uses a whole can of mace on me. And he became more violent because I didn't react like the normal civilian. Well, I'm not a normal civilian. In this whole situation, I was in my military uniform. I don't even blame him. I blame the people who allowed him to do it because it's not the first time he did it. He's continuously did it. So it's just not Officer Fields being wrong. It's Sheriff Lott. It's whole, it's whole department who allowed their wild dog to be off the leash because they knew he was a wild dog from the beginning. So you heard what the brother said. He was in his army uniform serving this country. Someone that should deserve respect, especially from law enforcement. And he treated this brother just like he treated that girl, but yet he treated him worse. He sprayed a whole can of mace on this brother. And because he's trained to deal with that because he's a soldier, and you heard him say he got more and more violent. You see what kind of sick savage that we have running around in society. And I like the comment he said about they let the wild dog off of a chain. That's exactly how he is conducting himself. Now, I want to show you another angle of the video from the high school. Let's go ahead and put that up. Now, as you can see in the video, this guy grabs the girl, and as he grabs her around the neck, she starts to strike him. Now, of course, the people that are trying to support this guy and the race is going to say, well, you see, look what she did. She hit him. Well, if anybody just grabbed you from around your neck real quick, it's just a natural reaction because people are cutting off your circulation and your wind to react to that. That man did not do anything to get her to comply with him in a peaceful manner. He didn't say, you know what? You know, listen, you need to get up, young lady. They asked you to get out of class. Does he, she didn't do none of that. He's went, he did that to Mayor Rice type of policing. You know what? Put it down, pow, get up, then start grabbing and acting a fool. So this man has been sued another time outside of the one that you saw with the brother. And what he did was he accused a teenager in that same high school of being a gang member and caused all kind of ruckus to the point that they, the parents had to sue him. I mean, this, and it, of course, it was a black child. You're starting to see the pattern with this guy. Why is it always a bunch of black people? You know, so these people that are trying to defend this guy, you have to understand what playing field they are. Because I go right back to what Tanya said, and I will never forget what Tanya said. The racists love people like Deputy Fields because they feel they're here to keep black people in line. 
And they are doing a great service for them because they have a sick loyalty to them. I mean, very sick. So this is the thing. I hope everything this guy have ever done come out. Let it be brought to light. And I want to see them defend this because he's being exposed now. And he's like, like the brother said, it's not just him. He's not just a problem. The whole system that's allowing him to do these actions, the other officers that wouldn't report him when he was doing these actions to the brother that was around, that's the problem. That's the whole problem. Now, if they would have had that incident, what happened with the brother on tape, this young girl wouldn't have suffered this at the hands of this guy. Now, they're supposed to be making a decision on what to do with him. Now, I hope they would fire him. And he do not need to be a police officer at all for what he has done to people. And even to this young girl, he's too hot headed. Like I said, I feel he had roid rage uh, because he's using all problem, crazy supplements in the gym. And he just get a kick out of putting people in pain. No, he do not need to be in that position. Hit me up in the comments, use the commentaries, subscribe.